I keep a hundred racks inside my jeans. I remember getting them all with the whole team. Now I need to get some calls because I'm balling. Something about that song, it just always puts me in a good mood. Even though, like, you know, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not balling like how he's saying in the song, but it just always puts me in a good mood, whether it's super late at night or it's the middle of the day or, I mean, this is even the song I play when I'm, like, in the shower, like, just, oh, always puts me in a good mood. Definitely uh, one of my favorite songs of the year. What is going on, y'all? My name is Jordan, back again like I never left, and I'm right here to react to the new, I think it's his debut album, I could be wrong about that, but the new project from Roddy Rich. Please excuse me for being antisocial. All in all, with me and Roddy Rich, I really do like dude's music. Uh, Feed the Streets was cool, but Feed the Streets 2 was definitely uh, something I liked a lot. Especially, of course, Die Young. And Down Below is actually a slept on song, too. He has definitely potential to, like, I want to say take over the game, but, like, be one of the bigger names in hip hop. He's still a brand new artist, relatively speaking. A song like Ballin', a song like Die Young, and even that song he made with Marshmallow, Project Dreams, like, and of course, Racks in the Middle with him and Nipsey Hussle, like, do have potential to, like, you know, be one of the standouts in music. And of course, even his Grammy nominations. Congrats to that. Also, Roddy, if you're watching. He has this project, and I'm a bit disappointed in one thing and one thing only. He had claimed that when he posted the track list, there was going to be this song with this feature. It was called Antisocial. It seemed like a few days after he posted this picture with Kendrick Lamar. So it seemed like, oh, he's on the song. And yet when this album drops, Antisocial is nowhere to be found. So that's a bit disappointing, but A, maybe there was a clearance or something like that. But I'm not even that mad about it. You already know that this album's gonna have the potential to be really good. When it comes to the singles, they've been pretty solid. The singles that dropped for it were Big Stepper, uh, Start With Me, and Tiptoe. And I'm more of a fan of Tiptoe, definitely. Start With Me is cool, but like, those are songs that still gotta grow on me, of course. And over and above all, you know, I'm just excited to hear what Roddy's got for me. I'm not going to analyze it too deep because he's not like, you know, a top 10, you know, bar for bar rapper. But he is very catchy. He says lines in here and there that, you know, kind of like, hey, that was clever. And honestly, I'm just ready to hear this album. So without me wasting any more time, let's get into this project. Roddy Rich, please excuse me for being antisocial. First track is... Intro. My big bro behind bars fighting 200 years. I got the call, I lost my dog. No fours, I hop on the fours. I've been counting, babies give me nothing. Put my wrist is perfect. Put my dick inside her mouth like it's Chris Toupaste. Yeah, ha. she gave me head like a toupee. Trip to a decade right this way. Put my baby yeah. in my I like that little reference to Drip Too Hard, my little baby and gonna. That song is gonna be. Definitely a hit for the rest of probably the next couple of years, but still, that was a nice way to start the album. At first it was like building up and then the beat dropped. Really liked that and yeah, not bad. Let's get into the next track, The Box. <laughs> Not bad. Ooh. There's a tra nice transition from that song to Start With Me, but I've already heard Start With Me, so I'm gonna skip that track and just go into the next track, which is Perfect Time. <laughs> Not bad. The next song is Moonwalking, and this features. Little jerk. <laughs> it's just kind of eh for me. I don't know. Maybe it was little Dirk, Dirk's verse, but I, I wasn't really feeling that track. You can't please everybody. <laughs> the next track is Big Stepper, but I've already heard this track, so we're just gonna go into the next track. God's eyes. He thought the money make you happy, it don't make you different. I start to see that shit. I eat that pussy like sex. She eat my dick like a crank. I got some niggas in the Not bad, but that's definitely gonna be a song that's to grow on me. Alright, let's get into the next track. PETA, this features Meek Mill. I got the money in power. Now none of you niggas can see us. I'm not gonna be honey cone setters in the chain like a beehive. He said you want to static with a nigga, seen him in the streets, he ain't trying to be back. Come with me to do. Yellow land look like Pikachu. Back to back. Never can snitch. Niggas get killed. Fucking with this. Fucking with us. I took my real 
tripping, doubled it up. That was a pretty good song. I think I've kind of said this in some other videos of mine whenever Meek knows a feature, but in a way, like, he's definitely a great part to a song whenever rappers decide to add him to it. He's been really killing it with features this year, and probably in part because, like, he hasn't dropped an album this year. I mean, even though Championships came out, like, the bitter end of 2018. Since we're halfway done with the album, uh, so far, it's come to, you know, just what I've, I've expected of Roddy, you know, just bringing in, you know, fire hooks, fire beats, going from talking about some deep stuff, like he mentioned in the intro, like his brothers faced him, like, 200 years of prison. But then we get, you know, the luxurious raps or the songs about girls, songs about fucking all these hoes and, you know, shit like that. But, I mean, if that's kind of like his soundtrack to life, I can't be mad at it. Uh, there was at least one song I wasn't really feeling and Fortunately, and that was Moonwalking with Lil Durk, but I'll talk about all of that other stuff at the end because let's just finish up this second half of the album. And the next song will be Boom Boom Boom. I'm a visionary. I got a nigga scared. I like it. So the next track isn't actually a track, it's a skit. I'm butchering this name, so Elise. I think that's how you say it. <laughs> Elisa's skit, and it's gonna go into the next song, High Fashion, featuring Mustard. By, uh, I guess, DJ Mustard and Roddy Rich. I start bopping my head. Yes, yeah, Sam. Oh. my product, baby. Whoa. I ain't no play, I just got a promo. I put up to the high rise. I'm in the if I hit it front of back, she gon' hit the sidewalk. If she got a <laughs> present, and it ain't been begging, but she a style. It's, it's the one. <laughs> Sometimes you don't have to have, I don't wanna say, the most lyrical song ever to be good but like i mean a song like that where it's probably going to be a hit i mean who knows what's going to happen next week or the week after and if this song gets any radio play but still like i mean that was just like a nice chill banger if that makes sense and hey you can say what you want about mustard and how his beats you know kind of sound repetitive or whatever at least they kind of did there was like a time where mustard's beats were sound very similar and i get, get it when a producer is supposed to have their sound but there was a time his beats were getting repetitive, but he is at a place now where he doesn't have his own sound, but his beats don't sound the same. Like, this this beat does not sound like Boot Up, and it doesn't even really sound like Ballin', if you ask me. Uh, maybe I'm getting ahead of myself, but yeah, really mess with that song a lot, and who knows, maybe Roddy and Mustard can make more songs. Why not? Mustard and YG have a bunch of songs with each other right there, so like him and Roddy, why not? To get into the next track, Back Seat, <laughs> featuring Ty Dolla Sign. I can already tell where the song is going, but hey, if you got Ty Dolla Sign on the song, that means it's gonna be, you know, better than, than it should be. Fucking sex <laughs> Yeah, it was cool. <laughs> I feel like that song is for anybody who's hooking up with somebody else and there's the type of song to put them in that mood. Cause hey, he's saying, hey, I'm gonna go in it for an hour, then we can move to the back seat. <laughs> so I mean, hey, it makes sense, but yeah, I mean, eh, it was cool. I don't hate the song, but yeah, it was it was okay. Let's get into the next track, roll dice. How you to make it happen, ain't got no not bad. Another song that will probably have to grow on me, but not bad. The next track is Prayers to the Trap God. I see the helicopters moving in. Mm. I thought if you took a loss, you just lose the win. My uncle was the police in his eyes and he got shot. Mm. Tell me how I got family that's addicts. I got family that's drug dealers. That's what I'm talking about. When Roddy gets deep, like, it just hits different. Especially when, and I'm not going to say too much about it or anything like that, but I know, you know, certain people uh, who battle addiction and also have been in the situation that Roddy's been in, you know, just things like that. Hearing it is, you know, it's just different, I guess. And yeah, I mean, either way, like, I just love it, again, when Roddy gets deep. Like, that's my personal favorite, and, you know, definitely got deep when it came to Die Young. So, song like that, good in my book, so yeah. The next track is Tiptoe. This feature is A Boogie with a Hoodie, but I've already heard this song before too. So we're just gonna get into the next track. And it's actually the last track to this album, War Baby. And you know, I gotta stick to my roots. I still rock Jordan's baby. Yeah. It was a Did Chopper sing like Yellow choir in here, okay. That's what I'm saying, like. 
when Roddy gets deep, like it's really good in my book, and I love how it closes out this album. Not bad. Here's my first initial thoughts on Roddy Rich's, I think, like I said before, his debut album. Please excuse me for being antisocial. Although, you know, with even that title, which I'm not gonna, <laughs> but you know, I'm not gonna bug him about it for too long, but it's kind of funny. It's called that, but very rarely does he actually touch on the theme of being antisocial. He obviously is just kind of proving like, this is who I am, so sorry for being antisocial. Despite album titles, I do think this project has a lot of pros and you know, there's some cons here and there, but uh, definitely the strengths that Roddy has based on just what I heard is his, you know, knack for melodies. He's very melodic, especially when he does like, you know, the rap singing or even just singing period on the hooks. And I mean, that's definitely going to carry him a long way. He has a formula, but again, I've said it multiple times, when an artist does have, you know, a formula with how they make their music, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's basically the best way I can put it. I do think that there are a lot of songs on here that I really messed with. Songs like The Box, Boom Boom Boom, High Fashion, Prayers to the Trap God, War Baby, Start With Me, Big Stepper, and Tiptoe. Like, those are all songs that I really like off this project. And it definitely showcases, like, more of the sound of Roddy that I do like. I feel like if, you know, <laughs> Hypothetically, if he put out the project with just those songs, I mean, I probably would have been happy with it because those are songs that I could picture myself listening to a lot. Now, the songs I just didn't feel off top, like the first time hearing it, are kind of like the cons, I guess. I mean, the song Moonwalking with him and Lil Jerk. I don't know if it was Lil Jerk's verse. Lil Jerk's somebody I don't really listen to that much anyway. And I don't hate his music, but again, sometimes his sound is just like not for me. And then some other songs that just need to kind of grow on me, like Roll Dice or Backseat. Those songs probably have to grow on me, but just all the first time hearing it, I was just like, okay, this is kind of like him rapping about whatever. I mean, one thing for a fact though, just because it has a couple bad songs doesn't mean it's complete garbage or it's complete trash or, oh, the project isn't as good as it could have been because of this. Now, granted, I mean, the first time I heard uh, Feed the Streets 2, I really liked it a lot, but this go around right here with this project, it's gonna probably need a couple more spins, but then again, like sometimes, there's projects or albums or mixtapes where the first time I hear it, it's kind of like, eh, but then when I hear it more, it does grow on me. And I'm not saying for every project out there, if the first time I hear it, I have to hear it again and again in order to like it. Because sometimes there's projects out there that are trash, and if I hear it the first time and I don't like it, then how can I really grow to like it the second time or the third time? I mean, you never know. This project was very solid. I'm glad he was able to put out a project or another project at least this year because, you know, it's been a minute since we've gotten like a Roddy project. Uh, he's been definitely trying to, you know, build up the momentum with his name and making his hits. And I'm very happy to see like even his, you know, come up. So all in all, there's definitely a lot of songs I'll go back to. There's definitely, you know, now I'm just going to have to have some, you know, replay, but I'm definitely down to listen to this again. Uh, before I have like a final opinion. For that, I'll say this about Roddy Rich's, please excuse me for being antisocial. For those who love Roddy Rich, go ahead and stream it. Like that's pretty much the best advice I can give. Like stream this project, cause I mean, hey, Roddy deserves it. To those who have never really listened to Roddy Rich, listen to Die Young, listen to Ballin, and actually listen to Feed the Streets too. Uh, that's definitely a project that's pretty short and to the point and simple. So like definitely, Keep that project as well as his features if you can find any songs with features uh, with him on it. To those who don't like Roddy Rich, like his sound just isn't for you and you've kind of like made that clear to yourself. I do think there's a few songs in here that you should check out, but hey, at the same time, if you just haven't liked Roddy Rich at all, I don't think this project's gonna change your mind. That's kind of like a, not a con per se, but like a hey, Roddy is trying some new sounds, I can tell, so maybe he'll evolve. But I think when it comes to how he makes music, he's gonna stick with the same technique. So if you don't like that, then go ahead and skip this. Shout out to you, Roddy Rich, for making this project. Keep up the good work. I'm loving seeing your growth and popularity, and congrats once again on those Grammy noms, and hopefully. In 2020 and many years to come you put out more projects that get your name out there but please 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 if you can't put out the track anti-social by all means i do want to listen to it and i'm sure millions of us want to listen to it especially if it has kendrick on there if you're going to say that for another time maybe i can react to it we'll see what happens but hey how did y'all like this project do you love it do you hate it where does it rank in your roddy rich you know, discography, especially if you checked out the other Feet in the Street mixtapes. Whatever you think, please let me know in the comment section down below. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and do all the other good YouTube stuff. Thank y'all so much for watching as always. Y'all are the best. 
I will be sure to post more videos soon. I don't know if I'm going to make an XXX Tentacion reaction vid because I feel kind of weird talking about an artist's project when they're no longer here. So <laughs> that's kind of the best way I can summon it. But if y'all want that, hey, let me know in the comments. And again, thank y'all so much for watching as always. Y'all are the best. And until next time, I'll see y'all later.